Alright guys, back out at the range today. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but man, it's just been so hot around here. Uh, it's about 5 in the afternoon right now, and it's 100 degrees out here, so I'm going to be sweating my butt off, but I'm going to tough it out because I got this new rifle that I wanted to shoot. This is the CZ600 range in 308. Uh, it's got a 24-inch barrel. Of course, it's free-floated and threaded. Uh, it's got an adjustable trigger. There's an Allen wrench right up here. You can turn it. I think there's four different settings you can adjust it to. The pull um, has this adjustable cheek riser. Uh, I've got a Vortex Viper HST mounted on top of it. And it's got a five round magazine. So I guess that's really about all I can think of. I just want to test out these three different types of bullets. Uh, these are bullets that I would hunt with. So I'm going to test them out. I'm only going to do three shot groups because like I said, it's hot out here. I don't want to wait for all day for this barrel to cool off between the three shots. So anyway, first we're going to try these 165 grain Federal Fusions. Then we're going to try the Remington Corelock Tit. These are also 165 grain. Then we're going to try the Hornady Black 168 grain Amax. I really like CZ rifles. I've looked at this one for a while and uh, was going to buy it off a gun broker and found a guy about four hours away that had one in a store so drove down there and bought it but uh i've got a couple other cz rifles also i've got a cz 557 and 30 out six that's more of a, a lot more of a hunting rifle it's got a smaller profile barrel on it and uh, it's a little lighter weight then i've got a cz 550 308 pretty similar to this one has a heavy barrel on it it's free floated in that one also and that one has a gray laminate stock on it I've had that gun since 2008, so for 14 years or so, and uh, man, that's an awesome rifle. I really like that gun. It's got a set trigger on it. Maybe I, I may need to make a video with those other two CZ rifles that I have. I just, I don't know why I haven't done it, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go down here and start this camera, and we'll get started and see how it goes. All right, here we go, guys. First up is going to be the Federal Fusion. Not too bad. These Federal Fusions always seem to shoot good in all of my rifles, so they're usually pretty good hunting bullets. I'm gonna let the barrel cool off and uh, we'll try the next one. All right, next up we're gonna try the Remington Core Lock Tipped. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's some wind kind of picking up from left to right. We're gonna shoot them anyway. Wow, I don't know if that was my fault or not, but I'm gonna shoot one more and we're gonna see. Huh, I don't like that shot either. I guess this is gonna be a five shot group. We're gonna see what it does. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm not sure what's up with these Remington bullets. Uh, those two that were off and to the left, they felt good when I squeezed the trigger. Um, everything felt fine. I don't think I pulled them, but I'm pretty sure I've seen another video on YouTube of a guy testing these out, and I don't think he had a whole lot of good luck with them either. So I'll use the rest of them up. I'll try them out in a different rifle. Maybe a different rifle will group them better, but I don't think they're for this one. I'm kind of glad because these are like $50 a box, so... That's fine with me. Anyway, we're going to move on to the Hornady Amax 168 grain now. Alright, that doesn't look like a bad group. I did notice that these shoot a little slower. It's going to be close. To probably an inch maybe a little under I think the fusions did about an inch the Remington's I'm just gonna shoot those up and use the brass to reload eventually I'll start reloading for this gun I'll come out here and I'll test out some uh, some hand loads with it so probably some 150 grain and 165 or 168 I can't remember what I have but this is a 1 in 10 twist barrel which I think normally would like a slightly heavier bullet around 165 168 
maybe even 175 but i feel like 175 is hard to find i may test some 150s i wish it would shoot 150s really good and it might i just got to test it out so maybe that'll be another video i've got several boxes of 150 grain bullets uh, i may bring those out and test them out those always seem to be the easiest to find whether at walmart or academy you can almost always find federal fusion in 150 grains so anyway i guess that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching guys see ya